Fact 5 presents. Number 5. Kim Ung Yong. Kim Ung Yong is a South Korean civil engineer and former child prodigy whose IQ was recorded by the Guinness Book of World Records at 210. He started speaking at six months and was able to read Japanese, Korean, German, English and many other languages by his third birthday. By the age of four he had scored more than 200 on an IQ test normally given to seven year olds. As of 2007, Kim Ung Yong currently works as an adjunct professor at Chungbuk National University. Number 4. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe Goethe was a German writer and statesman who is believed to have had an IQ of 220. His body of work consists of epic and lyric poetry written in a variety of styles and his most notable works include Faust, The Sorrows of Young Werther and Elective Affinities. Although his literary work attracted great interest, Goethe was also actively involved in the studies of natural science writing several works on morphology and colour theory. Number 3. Christopher Hirata Hirata is a child prodigy turned astrophysicist with an IQ of 225 by the age of 16. He is best known for his human chemical thermodynamics and human physics based, the physics of relationships. At the age of three, Hirata entertained himself at the supermarket by calculating the total bill of his parents' shopping cart, item by item, by weight, quantity, discounts and sale taxes. That is pretty impressive for a three-year-old. By twelve, he was taking college-level courses in physics and multivariable calculus. However, perhaps most famously, Hirata became the youngest competitor ever to win a gold medal at the International Physics Olympiad at 13 years old. If you are still not impressed, by 16 he was working with NASA on projects dealing with colonizing Mars and he earned his PhD in astrophysics from Princeton University at 22. Number 2. Terence Tao Tao is an Australian-American mathematician working on harmonic analysis partial differential equations, additive combinatorics, ergodic Ramsey theory, random matrix theory, and analytic number theory. <laughs> no wonder he has an IQ of 230. I was wondering whether the list was ever going to end. From an early age, Tao exhibited extraordinary mathematical capabilities by attending calculus courses at the age of seven, and the following year he even began to teach high school calculus at Garfield High School just at the age of eight. His mathematical abilities do not end there. Tao and Leonard are the only two children in the history of the John Hopkins Study of Exceptional Talent program to have achieved a score of 700 or greater on the SAT math section while just nine years old. Tao scored 760. Tao also remains the youngest winner of each of the three medals in the International Mathematical Olympia, winning a bronze in 1986 at 10, a silver in 1987 at 11, and finally a gold in 1988 at the age of 12. Number 1. William James Siddis Just when you thought that someone couldn't have a higher IQ, well, someone just did. William James Siddis was an American child prodigy with exceptional mathematical abilities and acclaimed mastery of many languages. Although not confirmed, he is believed to have had an IQ of 275, the highest IQ ever in the history of our planet. He attended Harvard University at age 11 as an adult and was claimed to be conversant in over 40 languages and dialects. Siddis could read the New York Times at 18 months and had reportedly taught himself eight languages Latin, Greek, French, Russian, Hebrew, German, Turkish and Armenian only at eight years old. 
Also, by the age of eight, he invented his own language called Vendigood.